I cannot believe how far off yeah, the camera must have been at the end yeah. of that last match then. Oh uh, yeah. Sword. I'm mm -hmm. all against Scarlet Purifier and Drew one, but yeah. I have two in my hand. Scarlet Purifier. The one that deals two in uh, my hand was Death Row. There's probably at least three in the stack right now. Might just be one. Yeah, I might need to be man. It's not like turn one, six, three. And you got to Zero? Yeah. You know, like, it costs three. Now. What deck is that? Talon? Yeah, Talon must always have Dr. Green. Scouts. Oh, man. Tackle two. Eleven. Yeah, that's a point. Okay. Yep. So I played Lambo Guardian. That's tough. On turn one, Dr. Blue on turn two, which triggered his divine shield. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Twice. And I'm like, sorry. <laughs> I get... He's gonna play Twisting Nether. I pass her. But top, by the way. Oh, Lucas Kites. There you go, might as well. Top three, top four. I will hide this card away. Oh yeah, we uh, we took the dice off earlier. This is not mine. Read my Phyrexia. Ah, here you are. Way over here. Yeah. I will gladly you take this. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Right, because then you gotta be on one side of the board, yeah. Alright, that's it? Mm hmm. Faster. Eighteen. Yep, and back to you. End of turn. I'll anticipate. Yep. Do you ever play Hearthstone or Heroes or any of these various free-to-play games? I've played a little Hearthstone. I don't know nearly as much about it as you guys do, though. I'll play a Cloud Farm. Mm -hmm. I, get I have been watching four. some uh, some Total Biscuit videos as well. His uh, Lord of Gimmick series. Pass turn. Give it a blocker. Actually take it this time. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna play around that zealous persecution. Could be anything. Could be literally anything. Uh, I'll play with Mercury Souls. Wait a minute. So which one is not tapped? Because Lingering Souls is only three. So. Right. Right. Um, this is up. Okay. Yeah. Hold up that path and that bolt. That's the one to keep untapped. Cannot pass or bolt the cloud form. Thankfully, because yeah, it's really cool. yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, oh, sorry. sorry. It's all good. It's a it's a tough setup with the chair right there. Yeah. So it was an island. Nothing anyone cares about, which is why I'm gonna have so many of them here. Okay. Is this pro or cold here? Sweet. Oh, they are. Yep. It's a beast. And then I will pass the turn. Yeah. You're a cool one. Uh, 
I am. This is going this well. <laughs> this one. Yeah. Take two. Yeah. Oh, ring. P remains you. And, okay, okay, okay. I, just, I will pay two life. If I didn't, I will. Um, I will flash back my guard claws. Okay. Get more permanents in play. Yeah. Yeah, it's the way to do it. Two spirits and a elemental. I bet I don't have any elementals. Yeah. You have a scissors lizard. Yeah. Like so. Uh, okay. And uh, over to you. So it's six. Okay. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Right. Which six? I'm gonna go ahead and bolt you. Um. Cross in hand? One? One. Dispel. Okay. Um, so I'm going to sacrifice the new yes. elemental, the old elemental, Chase um, of Coilos, Planes, Windbreak Kites. Mm -hmm. uh, I still got to go one, right? Yeah, one more. Uh, spirit. And then jump with the spirit? No, I'm taking 15. Okay. So I'll go to three. Slide of hand? Yep. Base slowly on is what I thought I heard. <laughs> Master? So yeah, I will, I will give my creatures plus one plus one. I will remand that. Okay, I get a fire mm -hmm. Um Fine. Mm -hmm. Colored spells. Yeah, okay. No pathing, no bolting. So oh, yeah. attack for four. Alright, can we do 11? Go ahead. Yeah, this is going to be, I have no permanence. I think you got me. <laughs> yeah, if for no other reason, but because you, you sack 6, block 1, and then you're left with no point. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do that. And we're cool. I'll scry one. The uh, Tentacruel Altar from Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then sleight of hand oh, for yeah, whatever. Okay. That'll, that'll do it. Yeah. No, no possible draws. Yeah. I mean, because it's a token deck, Ryan's right. There's no like Wrath of God or anything in there to, to get you out. And that's mm -hmm. fine. Okay. Path. <clears throat> Path won't do it. Bolt won't do it. I guess but see, like, it's like I can go wide on tokens and just try to burn you out. There you go. I guess so. I mean, I can only block one creature at a time, so Emrakul could just come down too late. It's certainly possible. Or does this have, like... See, when I, when I think about a token stack, this doesn't have, like... Sword of Fire and Ice or anything like that. I guess it, I don't know if it does, but I can see it doing something like that. But even so, then, it's... Right, it's, it's too blocking. slow. Yeah. Yeah, something like uh, Feast and Famine would probably be better against this deck. Yes. Yeah. So make me at some point have to drop the combo. Like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Okay. We got enough of that out last game. Alright. Protection from colored spells. Mm -hmm. What you need is the card in Snaring Bridge. Right, Actually, I right. can see that in that deck, if for no other reason but because you have all these... draw and attack. Yeah, if you one, can... one power flyers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Although, it does make Intangible Virtue a little bit difficult to play. But Zealous Persecution? I don't know. I'm trying to talk myself into and out of it, and into and out of it. It's just an idea for you in YouTube land. Oh my god, this hurts. <laughs> Yeah. Sure. That card.
card. Where it's an oversleeve. Where is an oversleeve? Uh, there's a card missing a sleeve, you see. Mm -hmm. You'd have that whole blue deck that had. I guess I didn't realize it until just now, so it kind of doesn't matter, does it? Oh, these are perfect fits. Oh, okay. This is the sleeve that goes over. Oh, I really need to get it out of that, though, before I keep shuffling it, because that's a limited edition sleeve. Ugh, okay. So, we'll know that for later. Um. Oh, yeah, your, your choice, by the way. Okay, I, I, will, I will keep. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Soul Warden? I will put out a yes, Soul Warden. Yeah. Pass turn? Young Pyromancer go up to 18. That's a card. Here for one. Mm -hmm. Go to 19. Go ahead. See, this deck is a little bit more combo-oriented now than it used to be, but the typical way I like to play this is a tempo deck that happens to have a combo in it, kind of like Splinter Twin. Mm -hmm. I think I'll take it. Put me to 14. Pass turn. You, you know what's happening here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when I said Heart of the Cards... I read, like, right land. now, okay. I needed to land, yeah. Damn! So this is... Turn four both games. Yeah. That's sweet. Well, even when it turn four is, I mean, it's still, it's not Splinter Twin, it's still Right, slower. you get an Emmer Fool, you have to get an attack step. Yeah. I it's guess. a little more consistent because we have more pieces to it. Are there, like, edict effects that get played regularly in Modern? Not really. Not really. regularly, no. Because, I guess, this guy sees, I mean, sees play. There's just not good decks to play against. There's not. There's also not really any great edict. I mean, there's Get's Verdict, but that's uh, okay. black black. Lula. There's no Chainer's Edict. Yeah, Lula, Liliana. 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 Okay, Liliana. okay. so yeah. that's you. You get your any cool. Dedicated they, edict effects. I'm not sure. Like against Jund or anything, they just play Liliana and, and kill your Emerald. Cool. Yep. I actually won a game when the opponent had Liliana in hand because he didn't realize that. I I couldn't just player. swing that turn, mm -hmm. so he just, as soon as I dropped it, he conceded, and he showed me when he plopped his cards down, I'm like, oh shit, dude, you actually had the, you had the kill in hand. I mean, the only way I couldn't have won, I, I don't remember the, I may have been too low in life total anyway, but, mm -hmm. you know, like, give me another creature, and then polymorph again the next turn. I need to draw a polymorph off the top, and then his Liliana would be at one, couldn't do it. But. I guess if I'm playing like Grixis, I would be like... Pass turn? Cryptic command, you tap it. <laughs> yeah, Splinter Twin actually can solve for quite a while just by tapping it down in combat. It's pretty silly. Yeah, Twin is certainly not my best match. I'm not sure that Twin is anybody's best match, except I have that one prison deck that 
don't know. I never, I never liked playing against uh, Jun just because they have such like discard early, and mm -hmm. they also have a Repticant. They're a very consistent, versatile deck, yeah. Uh, but I haven't played a lot of Modern. I played Twin for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty sure I'm just doomed here. All right, none of these fly. Yeah, I am just doomed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, there's gonna be like a block path of exile, my blocker to make another guy. If I had a land, yeah. I mean, not much you can do there. You're right. So right. That deck is not in the back where it gets a pawn war. Mm-hmm. Because right. you have no way to stop the things that are going to go off the time. I've been talking about turning this into a mono blue flash deck. Just take out the six copies of or the four copies of Polymorph into a miracle. Take out the three cloud forms because you now no longer need them, and replace them with like Stepcasters, Vendillion Click, Teferi Mages, Alfir, maybe Spell Stutters and more counter spells. Do you have good stuff other than like Seer Visions to Snapcast back? I mean, I guess you have Reman. So this would also have Cryptics in it. Vapor Snag, maybe? I don't have any Vapor Snag, but it's also not a tempo deck. Mm -hmm. I guess I could try something like that. Anyway, see you later.